to all of you gathered at home as we prepare ourselves to say a final goodbye to our dearly beloved Toby. Out of the depths we cry to you, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. At the end of the service, I encourage you all at home to light a candle to remember Tony and to give thanks for his life. Let us pray. God of compassion, as we gather around our beloved Tony, we can scarcely take in what has happened. Be alive to us as our hearts are shaken with sorrow for a life so full of promise has been taken. And our sadness contain us, in our shock and our grief comfort us. Meet us in our anger, bear the questions that have no answers, and in our dark and lonely times bring hope. And now I'm going to hear a reading which is taken from the Book of Lamentations in the Bible, and it's a, a reading which is usually heard on the saddest day in the Jewish and the Christian calendars. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is, so I say, gone is my glory, and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. My soul continually thinks of it, and is bowed down within me, but this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, his mercies never come to an end. Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. We're now going to hear a poem. Music when soft voices die vibrates in the memory. Odors when sweet violets sicken live within the sense they quicken. Rose leaves, when the rose is dead, are heaped for the beloved's bed. And so thy thoughts, when thou art gone, love itself shall slumber on. Let us pray. God, you know the
the secrets of our hearts. And you hold what is hard to hold within. You bear our pain. You bear our anger. You bear our tears and our loneliness. You bear the questions that have no answers. Comfort us in our grief. Come close even if we do not call to you by name. And in the darkest places, give us hope. And as Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, we do the same. And please join with me at home. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Tony, go forth from this world. In the love of God the Father who created you, in the mercy of Jesus Christ who redeemed you, in the power of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you, may the heavenly host sustain you, and the company of heaven enfold you, in communion with all the faithful, may you dwell this day in peace. entrusted our brother Toby to God's mercy and we now commit his body earth to earth ashes to ashes and dust to dust in the sure and certain hope the resurrection to eternal life for our Lord Jesus Christ who will transform our frail bodies they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Helen would like to thank all of you for being able to join this afternoon via this streaming link. If I can just use her words to thank you for attending this webcast. Sarah and the family are comforted by and thank you for the lovely messages that you have received. We will arrange a suitable celebration of Tony's life very soon. And it would be wonderful if you could let one of us know that you've been able to watch this service and in honour of Tony's sweet tooth, join them in a virtual cup of tea or something a little stronger, should you wish, and a piece of cake later this afternoon. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of every people, to be a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Support us, O Lord, all the day long of this troublous life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and peace at last. Through. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you his peace this day and always. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son,
Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you.